Hey everyone, welcome to another B-roll video. B-roll videos are empty Joe matches that didn't quite make the cut when I was deck teching a particular deck. For whatever reason. Uh, whatever that reason is, maybe I just had too many matches or the match was too short. Um, I put them in these B-roll videos. So if you enjoy watching empty Joe matches, this is a good way to do it. We're watching my Scorched Earth deck, playing against Red Green Ponza here. Interesting how we have two essentially land disruption decks going head to head. Let's see which one is the better one. Now this version of Scorched Earth was still splashing blue for spreading seas. I eventually cut it because it was just too cute, but it was fun when I was playing with it. So here I'm cutting off our opponent. From some color at least. Spreading seas on that forest is going to be brutal. Because now they use the, lose the Utopia Sprawl and we almost cut them off from doing anything. Oh, they got their forest. But we can take care of that forest next turn. It's funny that I'm still fetching around Blood Moon. <laughs> As you can see here, I'm getting my forest and my swamp. I'm not even going for that. I'm not even going for the forest with the uh, Molten Rain or Cleansing Wildfire. I'm just going Bloodbraid Elf. And a Bloodbraid Elf right into Charlotte's Agent. Well, that's a beauty. And look at that. Pooling Venom. <laughs> Why not? So we're doing a whole bunch of unfortunate things to our opponent here. Definitely not fair. So let's see what our opponent ends up doing here. Okay, Blood Moon. Well, we gotta give him credit. Not going to do much here, though. And that's probably going to be a concession here. Oh, yeah. Cool. Got it. Just under two minutes. Under three minutes, I should say. That was brutal. Our, our opponent had no chance. We just had a good start, and they were not ready for it. Let's see what game two looks like. Not too much I need here. Cinder Vines, Assassin's Trophy to get rid of Blood Moon. Maybe Utopia Sprawl if I'm not worried about Blood Moon. That's pretty much it. You can tell here I was just not, not sure how to balance it out, but this is a good hand. Not necessarily Blood Moon proof, but Cinder Vines is a good blood, blood Moon remover, so. Right, that Arbor Elf is going to die. Let's see what our opponent has next for us. Utopia Sprawl, sure. I know just the trick to get rid of it. I got a second Cinder Vines here, which is great. So I definitely didn't want to go for that forest yet. I wanted a way to, you know, protect me from that Blood Moon. So the Blood Moon comes down, but we're going to remove it any anyway, so... It's okay. Now I could have waited there. I mean, I should have waited. There was no rush to remove it. I could have waited until end of their turn, but it is what it is. Sure. Right, hit me for four. some reason don't hit me for four and I got a concession cool so there you go scorched earth 
against Red Green Ponza, taking it out. Um, yeah, had no chance. The Ponza deck had no chance. We we're just the better score, the better land destruction deck or the land disruption deck. Let me know in the comment section down below what you, down below what you thought. A total of four MTGO B roll matches going up today. So this is one of four. Don't know what order it's going up in. Still, make sure you stay tuned for those if you enjoy watching these type of videos. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy my content in general, please subscribe and hit that notification bell down below. Those few clicks go a really long way in helping others find my content and helps my channel grow. Follow me on Twitter and Facebook, share my content on social media. That also helps others find their way to my videos and spreads the word even further. And of course, if you like making money, check out my Patreon page. The link is in the description of this video. In particular, check out the Patreon Rewards Program. Basically, it works like this. You give me your Patreon dollars every month. I buy and open up sealed product on this channel using those dollars. And I send you back that money at the end of every year in the form of rares and mythics. You get one non-bulk rare or mythic for every consecutive month you've been a patron. And every card is worth anywhere between $3 and $15. But I mean, even if you lowball it at an average of 5 bucks per card, you're at the very least getting your money back. But odds are you're getting even more. There are a lot more details on my patron page, so check it out. Thanks and have a good one.